hello guys so in today video we will be learning how to upload files or notes and attachment anything to the salesforce so to do this we will be using our salesforce standard api and we will be inserting the data in the content version and then we will be linking that uh, data with the record id so for that uh, let's first create a uh, create one record in which we will be uh, linking the document so let me go to the create account record in your case you can use any of the top record is your requirement so let's see uh, i'm creating uh, one account record and in this account record i will be inserting the files so as of now there is no any files no new attachments so we will be inserting files so now let's go to postman to test this uh, we'll be using postman in your case you can use whatever the applications you are going to use for the third party but in our case we will be using uh, postman to test so uh, let's go and uh, first uh, i will be uh, getting the access token for the current app so i have already fetched that uh, access token so this access token i will be using so let me copy it and i will uh, paste in the authorization in the header so let's do that uh, and uh, paste the token now in the url we will be using this url so i will explain what is this url about uh, let's copy this url and paste here in the new request so this uh till.com this is the my org url and now this is the version of the scan salesforce so currently we are using 54 and this is the content version of the api name so in this object uh, we are going to insert our records now we will be doing insert that's why i will i will be using post operation now authorization i have done now let's go to body and give the body so body i will be passing in the json format so let's change the type to json now uh, i am copying this data i used in uh, for testing now i am copying this data and i'm pasting here so title you can give any title so let's select uh, you can give uh, my file title my file and the format text format so whatever uh, content version version data is there whatever it is in format you can give uh, that format name dot pdf or dot excel or dot docs whatever the uh, format it is required so and uh, this this first published location id this is the record id parent record id on which you are going to link link that file so in our case we will be using with this test new account so i am copying this record id and i am pasting here so i change the record id and version data so this is the base 64 encoded version in both data so salesforce will accept in the accept in the base 64 version so this is our json file this will be inserted now let's click on send so this is the id this id is of the content document so this content document is id and success is uh, response is true now in this uh, in this record id this file this content document will be attached so let's go to salesforce nc so as of now there is no file let's replace it so we can see my file.txt is available here right so we can see if it is not available then we can click on the file details and we can see the files here or we can go back or we can download that file so let's go and let's download that file so file is downloaded in my system my file.txt let me open it So this is the file which we inserted and this is available here. Okay, now okay fine. So we inserted the we inserted the document here in the account. Okay, so this was our JSON data. Now for any other object also we can do the same. We can insert this uh, on any other object like we will just uh, we will just change the record id of that object suppose that for order object or for product or whatever object you want on that object you can go and you can change the id you can change the uh, version data and you can insert so to third party we will expose this uh, uh, json and they will use this json and they will pass the data and it will be inserted to our salesforce that's it i will uh, attach this in the description you can find the content center description as well thank you